MVP posts a photo with a former Hart business member after Bobby Lashley's loss. Paul Heyman says he arranged for Brock Lesnar to train with current WWE superstar, and Austin Theory returns to NXT and brings a top Raw superstar with him. Hello everyone, Jose G here bringing you today's top stories in today's Sports Keto Wrestling News Roundup. To stay up to date with all of our content, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. MVP posts a photo with former Hurt Business member after Bobby Lashley's loss. MVP has dropped a big hint after Bobby Lashley dropped the WWE title to Big E on the most recent episode of Raw. The Hurt Business broke up on the road to WrestleMania 37, where Bobby Lashley successfully defended his WWE title against Drew McIntyre. The fans weren't happy with Cedric Alexander and Shelton Benjamin's exit from the stable. On the latest Raw, Big E cashed in his Money in the Bank contract on Bobby Lashley after the Almighty had it successfully retained his WWE title against Randy Orton. It didn't take long for Big E to put Lashley down and become the new WWE Champion. Hours after the incident, MVP took to Instagram and posted an interesting photo. MVP can be seen sitting beside fellow WWE veteran Shelton Benjamin on the plane with the caption, discussing business with an old acquaintance. Bobby Lashley's WWE title loss on Raw was a big blow to him and MVP. The duo had run roughshod over Raw for a long time. It looks like Lashley's loss to Big E could force MVP to make some tough decisions. Lashley and MVP seemed happy to kick Alexander and Benjamin out of the Hurt Business. However, it looks like the duo might be in need of some reinforcements following the latest episode of Raw. Cedric Alexander took a shot at Lashley and MVP after Big E's win last night and stated that they could have used some backup. It's safe to say that Bobby Lashley isn't happy about his title reign coming to an end. He was a dominant WWE Champion and defeated several big names during his run with the title belt. It won't be a surprise if fans get to see the Hurt Business reunite in the near future. Paul Heyman says he arranged for Brock Lesnar to train with current WWE superstar. Gable Stevenson and Brock Lesnar's training session at the University of Minnesota was arranged by Paul Heyman as per the latter's latest comment. Paul Heyman recently spoke with TMZ about WWE's latest recruit 21-year-old Olympic gold medalist Gable Stevenson. Heyman he praised on himself while taking about Stevenson's Olympic success. He claimed that he helped Stevenson win the gold medal at the Olympics saying, quote, I am personally responsible for all of Gable Stevenson's right business decisions in his life and his gold medal and his Hodge Trophy and his NCAA Division I Heavyweight Championship. I had everything with Gable Stevenson winning the Olympic gold medal. I arranged for Gable Stevenson to train with Brock Lesnar at the University of Minnesota, which helped Gable Stevenson win the NCAA Division I Heavyweight Championship. Then he used my strategy to win the gold medal in the Olympics, end quote. Brock Lesnar is one of the most successful superstars in the history of professional wrestling. Lesnar doesn't generally interact with people and stays away from the limelight. The fact that he took time out of his schedule to train with Stevenson speaks volumes of what he thinks of the young gun. As for Heyman, arranging a training session with Lesnar and Stevenson indicates that he believes in the Olympic star as well. Stevenson recently bagged a deal with WWE and has had a long road ahead of him in the promotion. Sami Zayn unhappy with one thing as the new era of NXT is about to begin. Sami Zayn is unhappy that people don't give him credit for making NXT famous and revolutionizing the business. Last night on the black and gold brand will be rebranded into a much more colorful brand of NXT 2.0. But before that happens, former NXT champion Sami Zayn feels like he deserves a thank you for putting the brand on the map to begin with. Sami Zayn took to social media earlier this week ahead of NXT 2.0, asking why no one has thanked him for revolutionizing the business with his run on the black and gold brand. Saying, quote, as this new era of NXT begins, think of all the greats that have passed through NXT to this point and how virtually none of them would have ever been there if not for me making NXT a thing. But does anyone say thank you, Sammy, for revolutionizing the business? Of course not, poor me. End quote. While Sami Zayn's tweet is most likely a joke, it would be nice for the WWE Universe to thank wrestlers such as Sami Zayn and Finn Balor, 
who helped turn NXT into the popular brand it became. Without people like Zayn, it probably wouldn't have been possible. Regardless of what happens within the branding of WWE's NXT 2.0, the black and gold brand will live forever in the hearts of wrestling fans everywhere. Many appreciated Triple H and his team for giving them something different than what you had been used to seeing on Raw and SmackDown on a weekly basis. As the new era of NXT begins, for better or worse, we should thank wrestlers like Sami Zayn, who made the previous brand the exciting product that it was. Austin Theory returns to NXT, brings a top Raw superstar with him. This week marked a new era in history for NXT as WWE presented a totally revamped version of the show touted as NXT 2.0. The new and improved show has already featured new debuting faces and saw a familiar face return in the form of Austin Theory. The Way member has been missing from television for the last couple of weeks and it was a perfect night to make his return. At the end of the night, NXT featured Indy Hartwell's wedding to Dexter Loomis. So Theory returned to be with his stablemates. That being said, Theory did not come alone as he brought reigning WWE United States Champion Damian Priest with him. Renowned for being a party animal, Austin Theory brought back the former NXT superstar with him to the wedding party, which consisted of The Way's leader Johnny Gargano, Odyssey Jones, and Cameron Grimes. Grimes seemed to have made amends with Damian Priest as they are former rivals they greeted one another and the former offered the latter a glass of champagne. Gargano also seemed to have missed Theory, seeing as how he hugged his protege when Theory threw him up for a high five. While Damian Priest is having the time of his life on the red brand, the Archer of Infamy had a noteworthy run in NXT. Initially debuting as a monster heel, Priest soon turned into good guy following his praiseworthy match against Finn Balor at TakeOver In Your House. He then went on to have a feud with Cameron Grimes, and he had a solid run as the NXT North American Champion. Following his Raw debut, he immediately entered into a feud with The Miz and John Morrison, whom he, along with Grammy Award winning artist Bad Bunny, defeated at WrestleMania 37 in a tag team match. Priest is currently scheduled to defend his US Championship against Sheamus at Extreme Rules on September 26. Adam Cole comments ahead of his in-ring debut on AEW Dynamite. AEW superstar Adam Cole is set to make his in-ring debut for Tony Khan's brand in this week's AEW Dynamite. The Panama City Playboy is excited and recently shared a poster of his debut against Frankie Kazarian on Twitter. The wrestling world is looking forward to AEW Dynamite to witness the former NXT champion's in-ring debut. Cole will lock horns against the elite hunter Frankie Kazarian in a one-on-one -on -one match. Cole, in a recent tweet, stated that he is set to make his in-ring debut for the greatest pro wrestling company in the world. After months of speculation, Cole stunned the wrestling world by showing up at All Out. The crowd went crazy when they saw him walk into the ring to confront AEW champion Kenny Omega. In a surprise move, Cole joined Omega's, the elite faction, and ended up congratulating the AEW world champion for his win against Christian Cage. The Elite then attacked Christian and Jurassic Express. However, the whole group got kicked out of the ring by Brian Danielson, who also made his debut on the same night. The confrontation continued on Dynamite. Cole, along with the members of the Elite, bragged about how dominant the faction is. Cole's in-ring debut against Kazarian will be interesting. Fans expect Cole to win, but Kazarian will be bringing his A-game against the Panama City Playboy. Thanks for watching today's Sports Keto Wrestling News Roundup. For more news stories and exclusive content, be sure you follow us on all social media. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Download the Sports Keto app for the most up-to-date stories in the world of wrestling.